so I'm back. I clean and repack that bearing. Now we'll fill this hub up until it starts coming out a little bit. We'll stick this right in here and we'll fill this hub up so we don't have to wait forever. Okay, now we've got a whole bunch coming out. I'll just put that up here. Take the outer bearing, slip it on. Now we're going to put this inner nut. This uh, protruding part, it has to be outwards. And we're gonna torque this nut. First torque, it's gonna be 200 foot-pounds. I'll do it with my fingers. <laughs> yeah, right. Eh? And you keep turning it while you're tightening it up. A long ways to go yet. Take the torque wrench, the three and three quarter inch socket. And we'll just keep on cranking her on until it goes. And this is set at 200 foot pounds of torque. The bearing sets are a 413 and a 414. The I think uh, well Timken that's the number or SKF I think it's the same. Okay, we'll get this guy going here. Now it's starting to tighten up a little bit, so you turn the hub while you're tightening the nut now. Now we got it at, what this does is it uh, seats the bearing. Once that nut doesn't turn anymore, there, we're good. No, we have to uh, back it off a full turn. There, that's a full turn. Now we torque it again. No, this is going to be torqued to 50 foot pounds. There, that's 50 foot-pounds, so that's finished. Now we'll put this lock ring on, and hopefully it'll match up. It doesn't match that way, so turn it around, and it doesn't match that way. So we don't want to go any tighter. We have to loosen a little bit. If you go tighter, it puts more preload on your bearings. Uh, and then it'll get hot and run hot. Okay, so we're gonna go back just uh just a hair. Well it's actually one one width of that. If we go forward, not even I'd rather not though. Just a bit. About that much. And we'll see if that'll fit on here now. Looks like I might have went a bit too too far.
don't want to drop this in the dirt. Drop it in the dirt, then uh, you have to go wash it again. You don't want them dirty. Consider it like a germ. Contaminates, there we go. Sitting nice and flush on there. So that part is good. Any dirt in there is gonna be nothing but trouble. Now, we're gonna put something on here that wasn't on. It's an extra safety feature. It's uh, another lock for the outer nut. So you put that on, take the outer nut now, and this outer nut has to be torqued to 500 foot pounds. I think it says, uh, I might even add that in, Stemco, Stemco uh, torque specs for this. So if the nut is bigger than uh, two, and sep, two and five eighths, I think it is, and that's the diameter here, it's supposed to be from four to 500 foot pounds of torque. Quarter inch socket, OTC. That's a done deal there. And if you really want to get picky, you put a dial indicator on this other side and it's supposed to be from one, one to five. One to five thousands clearance. Now we'll bend these tabs over. That's so the outer nut doesn't come loose. I do it in three places. Yeah, that's what she said, eh? Tripods in the way. Okay, so that's done. Now the cap goes on. The the gasket is perfectly fine. I haven't had them leak when I've done this, so. You don't need to put nothing on it. There was silicone at one time, but not now. It's easier to get off next time. There's six uh, bolts in here. The socket is a half inch socket it's starting to get windy and I just use this to snug them up I don't go uh, crazy tight with them then I alternate just like tightening a tire That part is finished. Now I'm going to put this upwards, but we'll take it off on the side first in case there's some dirt. We don't want to have it putting that into the bearings. Pretty sure it's uh, 
5 16 I grabbed the wrong one. The 5 16 uh, Allen wrench, or Allen key, whatever you want to call it. And we'll take it off kind of on the side here because we don't want anything coming out. Or it'll drop out then instead of going into the, the hub itself. Now we'll flip it over here. Now we'll fill that up. It'll take a couple times. A couple times to fill that up. But it's better to do it this way than to uh, try and fill it through that hole. What I do is I'll just fill that sucker right up. get through that bearing through the grease and it'll leak through the vent hole a little bit until it goes down and we got a big vent hole right here so we could plug this one see it's down half already you can see the level back and forth. And we want the level to, well, the second line here. I'm using uh, 7590 gear oil. here we get minus 40. We need a little lighter gear oil for lubrication of the bearings. Usually what I do is I when I let this sit I'll leave it sit and uh, I'll work on the others on something else then I'll come back and check it. Just turn that hole away from the wind so nothing gets blown into it. So basically that's how you change a wheel seal and uh, set your bearings. I think I'll do just a simple, simple brake job to put the brake shoes on on a different video. I don't want this one to get too long. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I uh, helped you out here. Thank you all. See you again.